Introduction to the five fitness components. Component number one, body composition. Okay, body composition is the percentage of fat in your body compared to your lean body mass. Things like muscles, bones, tendons, ligaments, organs, uh, etc. Okay, below is uh, the diagram. Uh, just showing you kind of what that looks like. Body composition. Second component, cardiovascular endurance. The ability of the heart, lungs, and blood vessels to move oxygen throughout the body. Uh, some good examples, biking, swimming, jogging, rowing, etc. Okay, all of these are aerobic workouts, okay, which when we simplify aerobic workouts, we understand that oxygen is flowing throughout your body, okay? That is the opposite of an anaerobic workout, uh, whereas oxygen is not flowing throughout the body, or the body is working uh, at a high capacity without oxygen. Cardiovascular endurance also helps to reduce levels of stress. Number three, flexibility. Flexibility is the ability to move the joints or any group of joints, muscles, ligaments, tendons, through their full motion, so, excuse me, through their full normal range of motion without hindrance, discomfort, or pain. Okay, four types of stretches, okay. Uh, the most popular is the static stretch. Uh, you hold that, that stretch for, from 20 to 60 seconds. Number two, is a dynamic stretch. It's performed by moving through a challenging but comfortable range of motion repeatedly, uh, 10 or 12 times you can see from the diagram below. Number three is passive stretching, um, and you're using some sort of outside assistance to help you achieve a stretch. Either a person, you have a wall. And last but not least, number four, active stretching. Uh, means you're stretching a muscle by actively contracting the muscle in opposition to the one you're stretching, okay? You do not use your body weight, a strap, leverage, gravity, another person, or et cetera, uh, to do this type of stretching. So you can see uh, that this person right here is stretching uh, their tricep muscle, but they're contracting uh, their bicep muscle in order to do that. Number four, muscular endurance. Muscular endurance is the ability of a muscle or group of muscles to perform a re uh, repeated movements or to hold a particular position with less than maximum force for an extended period of time or until muscular fatigue, okay? So right here we have a lady doing knee-ups and you know that we have the abdominal knee-up test. So uh, someone that's doing knee-ups and let's just say they have 60 seconds to do as many knee-ups as possible, uh, that would deal with muscular endurance okay also last year you guys did the dead arm hang uh, for as long as possible that would fall into the group or the category of muscular endurance and right here we have planks which we've been working on during our abdominal warm-ups okay last but not least muscular strength muscular strength is the maximum amount of force weight or heavy resistance a muscle or muscle group can generate in a single effort to the point that no more repetitions can be done without rest. So we see it right here. Uh, this lady is, is on the bench press um, and she's doing one rep. This is her max rep and she can only do it one time and that falls under the category of muscular strength. Also this lady right here who's squatting. Um, you can even tell by her face that this uh, is probably her max and uh, she's going for that one time, okay? So the important thing for muscular strength uh, is understanding uh, that you're generating uh, power uh, in a single effort to the point where no repetitions can be done without rest, okay? All right, some extra things uh, just to note. Aerobic uh, metabolism versus anaerobic metabolism or just simply anaerobic versus aerobic, okay? Aerobic means without oxygen. We spoke about that earlier. Your muscle, muscles rely on fuels besides oxygen, like glycogen, okay? Glycogen is simply glucose sugar that is already stored, okay? Aerobic means with oxygen, okay? Your cells use oxygen to help break down glucose, therefore fueling metabolism. Glucose equals one of the main types of sugars found in foods, okay? We have a couple of diagrams right here that are showing you the difference between aerobic and anaerobic training. Take a look at this quickly. And 
But then our last diagram right here, aerobic versus anaerobic. And again, please remember, aerobic is exercising with oxygen flowing throughout the body. Anaerobic uh, is without oxygen uh, flowing throughout the body. Again, everything that I've went over uh, on this video, and I know it's, I went over it pretty quickly, but again, this is a flip class, so you can go back and listen to what I'm saying. You can look at uh, this video uh, and take extra notes if you'd like to, but of course, we've went over this already in class. Uh, so again, this is just an extra study tool for you so that you can be successful uh, at the end of our Unit 2 test. All right, have a great night or a great day. Bye-bye.